A beautiful afternoon to go prospecting. Thought we'd locate an old adit, and uh, we're gonna go check out a showing that we found a little while ago that we had XRF that has decent values for gold, silver, lead, zinc, and some copper. So we found the adit already is actually pretty easy. There's a road above here. And we hiked in from the side, crossing a little creek. And it was very hidden, but if you take a look, there's also another road just there. And I don't know how many times we've walked by this and never looked twice up here. But now we're here. We're going to go check out the adit, see if we can get inside. Uh, we'll check out the dump, and we will also walk an old railway grade. So we're clearing some... Of the brush out. This is the added here. We did see a bunch of quartz in the dump, so most likely following a quartz vein, cutting through what looks like a mica schist here, maybe a bit of sericite schist. There are some intrusive areas like this right here with a different rock type. Yeah, definitely quartz right there. But uh, this is the added. I'd say goes in about, from what I can see, 15, 20 meters. So a good 60, 70 feet long. Just inside the entrance here. So you can see all the quartz here running parallel to your schistosity. Looks like uh, some of this is barren. Some has some mineralization, but we found a sample up on the road about 100 meters away from here, which I'm thinking is now from here based on what we're seeing in the rocks. And it was... Uh, about 5.6% copper, ounce of gold, ounce of silver. So, a little bit of water in here. We do have an, a few hours left of prospecting, so we don't really want to get soaked. Uh, so we're not going to go any farther. But yeah, it's a good uh, 20 meters, I'd say 70 feet. In the middle you have a nice big vein running through, obviously they didn't chase that sideways. And then farther at the back, kind of the same deal. So definitely a cool little mine. Not much documented on this. We just randomly found this in an old map. So we're gonna hammer a few samples, see if we can't find any that are mineralized. Yeah, so definitely right here you have like a intrusive like, it's almost like a chert-like body right here in between your schists. All right, so we went in a little bit and we found a small little area that was mineralized. Um, so these samples are from the mineralized area and then from the quartz vein at the mouth of the adit. So we did see some copper sulfides, iron sulfides, primarily pyrite and calcopyrite. And uh, so these are some of the samples here. Mostly what it looks like is they were following an iron sulfide um, quartz vein. Because primarily what you see is iron pyrite, which is actually fairly coarse. Some copper sulfides in there. And I think I see a little bit of pyrotite as well.
There we go, more. So it looks like there's actually quite a bit more of your iron sulfides or iron pyrite in between your quartz and your schist. While the quartz is mineralized, there's some stringers that are in between the foliations of your schistose rock. Last couple samples here. So this area here, you can see it's oxidized. You can see a bit of a yellowish staining there from your sulfides. And the other day we found a showing here down in the road. You have a 40 centimeter wide area from here to here, which we know is a mineralized vein. There's disseminated mineral on the side and we haven't exposed anything else, but what we wanted to do is just chip out a better sample here. You can see your iron sulfides. And we did have this XRF. There was about a half an ounce of gold a half an ounce of silver and 1.2 to 1.25% zinc with a little bit of lead and a half a percent copper. So interesting showing. We've driven over it for many years and it's now exposed. So what we want to do is chip a sample off and then we're going to actually walk up here and look in this area. How do you feel about that? Good idea. Chip sample from this exposure behind here. And you can see you have a silicus rock in there, quartz, and you have disseminated iron pyrite. So that's from that exposure there. Down below the road here, just number two is down there. There's some outcrop and a creek along in here. So he's checking that out. So I noticed there's some mineralized samples right in line with this. So I'm going to dig up some of these and hammer those open. Right here at the showing, we're chipping away. You can see all of this is just basically powdered metal with a bit of cherty quartz. Here's some of the samples that we're pulling off. Decently mineralized. Got a bunch more in the bag there. So we exposed the showing a bit more. We've covered it up a bit now so people don't come exploring. But um, about 80 centimeters wide is mineralized with at least 50% mineral. Closer to 75. And then on the outskirts here, you have more of the same rock and schists and there's disseminated mineral in that. Not as mineralized as the center portion, but still mineralized, I'd say at least 10% pyrite. So now what we're gonna do is head up here and check out this area. We're on an old railway grade right now. There's some oxidization on some of the schistose rock, which continues from a zone down below. Um, on the road, you can see just how oxidized this is. And if this continues for a while. We are finding uh, some pyrite in the foliations of the schists. 
you can just see how oxidized this is and I'm just having a hard time believing that this isn't associated with something. We're gonna walk this railway grade a bit more. If we have time, we'll go up above a bit. I don't think there's too much exposed up there, but the area is definitely a contender for future work. So we just dug this area out here and we we're finding little stringers of pyrite throughout the schist. We just dug out a quartz vein right here and you have mineralization in the quartz, pyrotized quartz. More pyrotization here in the quartz. We've exposed this a, a bit more here, hammered away some of the schists and the quartz. We have some mineralization for sure. Nothing too crazy though. Mostly just uh, specks of iron pyrite. I'd say you're looking at about less than 5% of the vein is mineralized. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. It's about 7 p.m. We gotta get out of here. We'll continue with this stretch of the railway some other day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, have a good night. Right? Yeah. You got a mosquito on your face.